cross-dresser. So what happens is, is I'm halfway. I reach in and grab his, his, his collar. Um, again, with the mobile guard, you know, you're going to get past. And so in this case, I've got this jacket pulled through. He's passed, somehow he's passed my leg over the top. And he's coming around to get cross body. So this is where I cross dress. I take my cross hand and I stick it in the dress. Right? And now what happens is the jacket is pulled taut. <clears throat> and the knee clamps down. So the knee is doing most of the holding. I should be able to, if it's done well, to just basically anchor it with two fingers. And as he's moving, the knee is, is making the pinch. See that jacket's in the back of the knee. It's pulled tight and down. Now it can happen where his arm's underneath here and it'll work just fine. It'll also sometimes happen that you get it framed. And this is what I strive for. So we've started here, right? So we're, we're in here, he passes, I catch, I catch that arm, and now I try to work that arm outside, and I'm tight. This is what I work for, but it doesn't need to be here with this arm on the top, it can be under. Now, this sweep is, uh, uh, like a lot of sweeps, requires momentum. At this point, Alberto's feeling really solid, and he's gonna start to spin around my head. And I'm gonna take this cross-dresser and I'm gonna point to my off angle. Just like a standing balance, a balance break, I'm gonna take it. If I, my feet are at six o'clock, I'm gonna take it to seven or eight. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull in on his arm and I'm gonna push with my leg. I don't extend that leg. I push with my hip. So as I come around, Bang. Oops, underneath, same thing. Pull tight, pull, drive. I frame it. Then see that hip lift? There, and now, through. The, the critical element to this, the cross dresser is that you pull the jacket tight, you clamp down so that the knee is on top, and the knee is doing most of the jacket pinching, which means your leg is going to be plenty strong to hold that in there. What it, it, it's harder to do when he's savvy, when he's savvy and he starts to spin and realizes it, up oh, and he drops back towards my feet. He's like, fuck that. So what I'm gonna do here is just sit up and bring him over. So it's not as much of an angle as the first one, but a lot of times when guys are half past, they're gonna start spinning really rapidly to try to get outside your legs. And that's when you have them, because you're going to stretch them. As they come around their angle, you're going to be able to stretch them to their off corner. So let's try that.